Hi everybody, welcome back to Unknown Destination. Today um, we're going to do a tarot card love reading. Um, what do they think about me? Where is this whole thing leading? You know, what's the whole situation? Where is their head in this whole situation? What does What's their role in this situation? Because we know what we're feeling, but what are they feeling? So this is pile one, this is pile two, and this is pile three. Um, sorry, I don't have numbers on them. I will next time. Uh, so pick from one, two, or three. Skip to the timestamp in the description or in the comments. And um, then, yeah. Okay, hi, group one. So let's get started. So first card, card we have, okay, the Knight of Swords, Justice, and the Moon. So straight away, what I'm thinking is going on here is that... Um, something there's some situation happening and um maybe it was unfair to you there was just the whole the situation just wasn't fair to you it didn't work out the way you wanted it maybe they did something to you and this person wants to come in maybe apologize maybe explain their side of the story they want to bring you justice and they want to um reveal some secrets and reveal some things their intentions maybe about what was happening so maybe this person hurt you you need justice in whatever the situation is, whatever has happened, and they're wanting to come in, give you communication, give you that justice, and reveal these answers that you've been wanting for a long time, you know? Okay, two of pentacles, seven of pentacles, and four of pentacles. Um, I think they're kind of juggling a lot of uh, stuff at the moment. Um, I think they wanted to invest in this relationship. Um, they wanted to harvest in this relationship, invest in it, bring something out that was worth it. Um, but it didn't go the way that they thought it would. It just it didn't go that way. And um, they were left holding on to what they already have. They were juggling with the situation. Maybe it maybe it doesn't have to do with the relationship. Maybe I think maybe this is some kind of job or a separate situation not to do with you, but it affected your relationship. They were juggling something, they tried to invest in something, they didn't get the results they wanted, and now they're left holding on to whatever they have and it's affecting your relationship. Or maybe this is to do with your relationship and um they don't want to let go of you. Um but they have tried to invest in what you already have and try to get, you know, the benefit of what you already have. Um, I think they see you as the empress. Um, they're waiting on communication. They're kind of waiting on what to do. They do want to communicate, bring justice and give you answers. But also they don't know what to do. They don't know what's right by you. They don't know what you want in this whole thing. Are you going to like slam the door in their, fa in their face if they come to you with answers? Because I think they might have hurt you in the past. But they do see you as the empress. They're waiting to decide on what they should do. What's the right thing by you. They know what they want. But you know it's all about you. And what you're going to appreciate and accept and bring in. And they have a lot of anxieties and fears around the situation. They kind of feel kind of trapped by it. And they really want to give you that justice because um, it's weighing a toll on their mental health. Okay, so Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay, I think they see a lot of potential in your relationship. They have a lot of happiness, good memories, um, a lot of good emotions. But I think they were very emotionally supported. They felt very emotionally supported when they were with you. And they felt very... Um, guided happy just supported basically um very stable with you i think um and they don't want to let that go again they don't want to let that go i've seen it twice here they don't want to let this relationship go this connection go they don't want to make you think there's someone that they're not they want to defend who they are and defend um what you brought them you might be thinking that they had ill intentions, they have ill intentions and they've had ill intentions, but they want to defend the fact that they didn't and they had true feelings and it was real at one point. Okay. Okay. 
okay. So they've been working hard. Um, I think you're waiting on... I think if they were to come in with an offer, you'd be um, kind of waiting on and like taking time to decide whether you want to take this offer or just let it go and see what happens. Um, one second. Okay. I think you worked hard in this whole relationship, so now you don't want to be the one to um, try and fix it or bring it back to what it was or bring it to the potential that it could have. You want to wait on it, um, but you still want that confirmation from them, that kind of passion, energy, excitement that they can bring. You want them to take the lead. You want them to have the courage and the passion and the energy to take the lead of you know trying to salvage this relationship maybe I think you're confused about whether their intentions are pure and whether they're consistent and actually gonna do what they say they intend to do you're confused whether they actually would want to communicate with you, take control of this relationship and bring it back to what it was, be consistent. You don't know whether they are going to do the right thing by you, um, by your relationship. But I think you want to believe in them. And I think they, they do have pure intentions. So yeah, um, I'm seeing that they, they want to bring this whole thing to a close, they want to resolve whatever's been happening, you know, close the cycle, um, they want to make a connection with you, they want to be someone for you, they want to, you know, invest emotionally and bring you the passion and excitement that I think is missing. I think you think that, um, there's a lot of, uh, the kind of energy where somebody knows what they want, they go for it and they do it and they have the courage, they have the bravery, they have the stance, they're just very direct in their approach and they get things done. You think that that's what they're missing and I think that's, they know that and they want to bring that. They want to bring in communication, they want to bring in passion, energy, they want it to be brought in and they're going to go for it. So thanks for watching group one, I hope that was helpful. Subscribe if that resonated. Hi, group two. Welcome to your tarot reading. So, let's just get started. Okay. Have the trail, secrets revealed, and the hanged man. Okay. So, um, there may be a situation that occurred. This might be the situation currently, or it may have happened before, whatever. But um, there was a betrayal. Maybe you've been betrayed. Secrets have been revealed about this person and the situation. And right now you're in kind of a tough place. You're resisting this whole situation. You're resisting what's happening with them. And you need to accept it. And you need to, I think, kind of move on. Be the presence in that situation. Be the awareness that, you know, doesn't judge this whole thing. Doesn't resist it. It's just there. Accepts it as it is, you know. Um, stuff has been found out about that you didn't expect. You may feel hurt, betrayed. And this whole situation just isn't helping you right now and you feel really stuck and you're really resisting it you know you need to take a break you need a okay so okay um i think whatever was happening with this situation you took a leap of faith or you decided to make a decision to um get to know this person, get close to them, or make some kind of decision in progression in relation to the ex situation or the relationship. And um, they had things that they were balancing, they weren't 100% committing to this relationship, which is some kind of a red flag, a red flag kind of thing, but you had, you invested in it in some way or form, you decide to go forth with this relationship, make some kind of decision to help it progress because 
in the past you've known this person you've known them for a long time you've got history with this person maybe maybe you've known them since you were a child um but you have history with this person and you feel attached to them because of that so you decided to go with this but maybe some part you knew but now you definitely know they weren't invested fully in this relationship um they were not committal to it okay um Um, I think, um, right now you might be deciding between whether to keep fighting for this or not. Um, I think you have a lot of friends and support around you, maybe from places you don't expect, but you do have a lot of support and you have a stable foundation of people that are there to help you in the background of things and um, you have the ability to get back on track and um, feel okay again after whatever this is maybe this was in the past and this is you kind of coming out of it but um, you have the opportunity I think to be able to seek out support from other people and um get back to a good place and manifest getting back to a good place um, okay so i think you should walk away from situations that are making you unhappy um i think the longer you stay in these situations that are not making you happy you'll continue to fight your opinion your stance whatever you'll con continue to fight for what you believe in with this person um fight against them in whatever aspect maybe you have a different opinion than they have maybe you have a different viewpoint on this whole situation but it's gonna continue to be fights and it's just gonna be not leading to anything it's gonna have no end and it's gonna have no resolution it's just not gonna have a purpose for this whole fighting thing if you don't if you um stay in the situation and this person I'm getting is someone that um, has some form of interest in you but it's not stable it's not a clear helpful solid investment in you it's not something serious um, that they're thinking of they're kind of just taking it as um, well maybe something could happen here but maybe I have other things to do other options whatever so this person isn't someone who's very loyal or invested in you so you need to walk away from what doesn't make you happy and if you continue to say you'll just be fighting and arguing and trying to defend your stance on things and it won't go anywhere um okay there is hope for you in the darkness there may be other opportunities to meet you people um there may be opportunities for you to get, you know, feel better, have a better life. Um, you need to have hope in this time. I think you, you might be feeling a little helpless and attached to this person because you think they're the only person that's probably, that might be good enough for you or something. You're attached to this person in some way or form and you're losing hope in other people in meeting someone else that might be right for you but you need to have hope um seek advice from people around you um spend time with your family friends bring all that goodness that support that emotional support back into your life seek that advice because you're kind of isolating yourself from everyone and you're just stuck in the situation so you're not seeing things clearly so you need to have hope and um seek support from other people okay um getting out of this i think will help you to be transformed into the empress and she is you know abundant she don't need anybody um 
she's she manifests what she wants she has a lot of good things surrounding her and she knows what she wants and she's she's just an elegant woman you know she's a poised elegant kind beautiful woman and um you need to let this chapter close and stop looking for in this situation, you need to st stop going back to this person or fighting with this person to look for some kind of salvation from it so that you can then move on. I think you're maybe going back to this person and keep on fighting with this person or staying stuck in this situation on purpose because you want to find something or you want to hear something from them that will give you comfort, salvation, justice, and then you'll feel like you, you can move on. You just need to move on now. It's time to end the cycle. It's time to end this whole thing situation whatever is recurring and just move on and stop trying to find whatever kind of salvation you're looking for okay so um yeah continually um trying to communicate with this person i don't know what I think you keep trying to communicate with this person, trying to get something out of them, or come to some kind of conclusion, but it's just not going to happen. It's just that all that's going to result from you keeping this person in your life and trying to find something or hear something from them, or you're just trying to continually communicate with them to get to some point. It's not going to le lead to some end point. It's just going to lead to the relationship falling apart, more more drama more issues so you just need to let go and find move on and find st stability in your life to heal from all this um yeah i you're looking for some kind of stability out of keeping this person in your life and keep talking to them but it's not gonna happen it's just more drama is just gonna keep occurring keep occurring um you need to regain your strength Support yourself, you know, manage your emotions, manage what is happening in your life. You, yeah, you need to take a break from all this. Um, kind of take a break to think about all these options you have. All these things weighing on your mind. There might be a lot of anxieties, a lot of concerns a lot of issues that are weighing on you in this situation and you need to take some time to meditate on them to you know get peace out of a situation you need to remove yourself from the situation and find peace in the situation and um when you can do this you'll be able to detect bullshit from reality facts from faults you'll be able to see clearly what you are not seeing now or wasn't seeing in the past so you need to take this time you need to get support from other people so you can see through the bullshit because right now you're not seeing through the bullshit unfortunately okay Okay, this is an opportunity to break free from all this, learn your lesson, you know, and then in the future be able to bring this into your life and um, find better people, have better happiness, find someone who's actually consistent for you. Also, um, this may be referring to the fact that you have a job of some kind that you need to focus on and you need to work hard on and be consistent with and manifest lots of money and happiness from and potential from um there's opportunities waiting for you that you're sitting on i think and this drama is just bringing pettiness into your life and you need to um, be more independent, not rely on this person, rely on this person's emotional support. You need to rely on yourself more and find strength within yourself 
to overcome these things and not engage in this pettiness and these arguments and trying to find something in them or in this situation that'll help you, you need to find that thing yourself. So I hope that resonated, I hope that helped group two. Um, if it did, please subscribe. Um, thanks for watching. Hi group three, welcome to your reading. Um, let's just get right into it. Okay, lovers, page of pentacles. Okay, and the five of swords. So, I think between the two of you, there may be um, some other intentions, maybe from you, maybe from them, some ulterior motives, some other intentions, something on their mind, something on your mind that is between this relationship, um, and that means that it's this relationship isn't at its full fruition, um, or it could be a third person. And whatever this is, I think maybe you're aware of it, it's causing petty arguments. Um, there is, um, it could be that one of you or them wants to um, focus on their career or focus on something else, a project or something that they want to bring into fruition. Um, and it's causing a lot of petty arguments, whatever this is. There may be mo issues around money here going on, um, or this could be the fact that one of you is trying to focus on fixing this relationship or fixing something before the two of you can be together and it's causing a lot of issues and one of you is too concerned with whatever this thing is that they're trying to fix or focus on it's coming from a place of lack, they feel like it then this is not enough. Um, they really need to focus on fixing or bringing something together before this relationship can, you know, happen. And it's causing a lot of arguments. This person feels like there's a sense of lack. They don't have enough of something. They're worried. Um, they're feeling really po impoverished. And then I don't think they're seeing clearly. They're not seeing the fact that there's, they don't have any hope and um they're lacking hope i think you may have hope but the other person whoever is feeling lack the other person has hope and the other person sees the potential and sees how everything will come together in the end whatever they're concerned about okay one of you really wants to act fast and they want emotional support guidance from you one of you really wants to go forth and bring something, make something happen. They want to, something is lacking in your relationship or outside your relationship, but it is affecting your relationship. They want to take action right now and they want to fix it or they want to bring something together. They want emotional support from you. They want your guidance, they want your help, they want your support or you want theirs. Okay, 10 of pentacles. Okay, yeah, one of you is really trying to, it could be money related, one of you is really focusing on trying to make more money or focus on their career, the, like this, this doesn't have to be the exact situation, but it could be the fact that they are focusing on, oh, I need to get this promotion, I need to get this promotion before I can commit to this relationship or something, I need to focus all, all my time on this promotion because I am lacking in money, I'm lacking in this, I'm lacking that, and if I'm lacking, I cannot be in a relationship with you. Um, they feel like this thing will hang over you, will hang over the both of you. It's something that is inevitable and needs to be done. It's something they cannot ignore. And it's really burdening them to ignore it. And even to not ignore it, to, you know, work on it. It's a lot of burden to them or it's a lot of burden on your relationship. Okay, so you do both have a connection, you share a lot of, you know, support, emotions, you have a lot of good times together, um, but one of you, it could be you or them, whoever is the one that 
whoever is focusing on this thing that needs to be fixed before getting a relationship, the other one is feeling like, you know, maybe this isn't the kind of person I want to be with. And, um, or you're suspicious of them for using this thing as an excuse. But I really do think they, okay, they could be using this as an excuse, um, to kind of move away from the relationship. I think you're suspicious of that. And you're resisting this whole situation, you're resisting them, you're res resisting their intentions. They're resisting this situation, they don't want to get in a relationship before they've done whatever this thing is they're focusing on. You think there might be some secrets... I think you're very suspicious of this person. Uh, you might, you may be thinking they're holding something back. Um, I think that you might be suspicious, but um, it's not right to be suspicious. Then I don't think they have any secrets they're holding from you, and you believe that there might be something they're hiding from you about like this whole thing is just a cover up. And in, in reality, you believe that they actually don't want to be with you or something. And it's causing a lot of arguments, tension, but they're not leading to anything because this person really is anxious and wanting to fix whatever this thing is before they get into a relationship, okay? So there's a lot of petty energy. You're both, okay, you're both experiencing two different things. Alright. So... This person, I think, might be trying to reassure you that their intentions are pure. But you believe they're manipulating, manipulating you or have other bad intentions. Let me just... Okay. Yeah, you're torn between whether this person's intentions are pure or not. But I think this person's intentions are pure. They just they're they're wanting to fix whatever this other thing is before they get in a relationship. They want to be consistent. They want to have their life together before they commit. And you're suspicious of this. You're very suspicious of this. Um I think you're focusing on the negative, you're focusing you're focusing on the fact that they don't want to be in a relationship right now when there is this future they have pure intentions, you know, they they want to offer you these cups here in the future, not now maybe. And you're focusing on now what's lacking right now, what's you know you may be isolating yourself from this person uh, because of this. You're feeling kind of like your ego's hurt, maybe a little embarrassed. They don't want to be with you. And you've got all these suspicions and you're thinking about, you know, going away, departing from them, distancing yourself. But to be honest, this person, this person just wants to, start to get their life together and to bring everything into fruition, everything to be stable, to be perfect before they commit. And I think that's that's a good thing because it means they want to give it their best shot. So yeah, don't be suspicious, don't focus on what they're saying they don't want, focus on what they're doing to get what you both want. Don't isolate yourself, don't distance yourself from this person. Don't have these suspicions. This person's intentions are pure. And they need your support right now, I think. They need your, your hope and your help for them to see. For them to, you know, bring out everything when they want. Because they're dealing with a lot. And you're both, you know, dealing with a lot of burdens that you have to carry. Okay, so, thanks for watching group 3. I hope this resonated. Hope this helped you. If it did, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.